What's going on everybody? Last NASCAR fan here and I am here to bring you my uh, 2022 NSRA Back to the 50s uh, car show diecast uh, pickups, specifically NASCAR diecast pickups. Not really going to do the Hot Wheels. Didn't get as many. Um, most of them actually are Disney cars so we'll see if we will have like a future video for my Disney wall uh, collection. But the, you came for the NASCAR specifically and that's what I'm here to deliver in. Great crowd, great crowd, lots of eating state fair food while walking and looking at cars. It was just awesome. Beautiful weather, not too hot, um, not too devastatingly hot because it'll be very hot uh, tomorrow, which I went Friday, but I'm recording this on Saturday. So, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get this out ASAP, but this is just going to, it was going to take me a while to do this and get the, everything uh, done, but let's just start off with um, what I got for NASCAR diecast from not the first vendor, but the second vendor. And the first one to show off here we have the 1976 Dale Earnhardt U.S. Army Chevrolet. Very cool car. Uh, I'm actually going to turn on a light. Yeah, that that's going to help with the lighting a little bit more. But yep, um, I just remember that Josh Wise did a throwback to this back in 2015. Um, but needless to say, this is pretty cool. Yep, it's from the, the Lifetime series. Yep, second. Uh, yep, this was yep the second his second start in the Winston Cup series. Um, moving on to another Dale Earnhardt uh, Lifetime Lifetime car. It's actually his 1978 uh, Rod Osterlin scheme before he went full time. The season after in 1979 pretty cool uh was like six bucks um next two um three actually um where, where did i put it where did i put it oh it's right behind me of course silly me pretty cool one uh 1993 alan kowicki but it's the 1992 uh champion it's the 1992 paint scheme but on the 1993 body and that's really cool to see that like that to see it like that specifically um more recent champions uh bobby hamilton 1996 uh 25th uh anniversary of um petty enterprise or something like that or 20 no, the 25th anniversary of stp uh being uh richard petty sponsored during that time and it's been doing pretty well ever since i don't know when they're sponsoring the next um for petty uh gms car but we'll see we'll see 1997 ernie irvin um like tribute reverse scheme to uh davy allison this is really cool you're gonna see this pop up again but it's gonna be even cooler and different way different actually going on to some mid-2000s diecast that i did find 2005 uh casey kane dodge dealers dodge uh dodge for uh everingham motorsports it's 2005 because no rookie bumper no rookie stickers so this makes it a 2005 die cast very easily and yes kane did win in that scheme at rich new at uh at uh, richmond he finally did it <laughs> 2005 uh carl edwards scott's turf miracle grow ford uh taurus Yep, and this is the paint scheme that he won at Atlanta Motor Speedway in, beating both Jimmy Johnson and Greg Bethel, who both dominated that entire race. So that's from the second vendor I went to. Um, the third vendor I went to actually had a lot had a had a lot. Both the second and third vendor were actually from. They had uh they had booths out of um, Burnsville, Minnesota, which I got in contact with them. So I will be going there in the future. You probably see a video maybe later this summer. Uh, most likely we'll see, but I got some really cool cars and some really cool, uh, good, some pretty good deals, actually, so I'm going to move some stuff out of the way before we do, uh, the next, all right, now we're ready, so let's go with the first car of the packet, in package, uh, 2000, Jeff Gordon, DuPont, NASCAR 2000 scheme, one of, uh, 50,040, very overproduced, so, um, not really worth shit. So, pretty nice to have that, actually. I don't have that, Gordon, specifically. How about seeing Checkered Flag Sports cars out in the wild for $3? That's a great deal. I mean, I have this car, but the one that I have, um, has, uh, actual, um, it's starting to chip on the spoiler a little bit. 
So I'm going to probably trade that to uh, one of my buddies. See if he wants it. Um, get it better. So I can get a good car out of it. Because this is a very rare car to come by. And you would not turn down an offer like that. Here we have um, 2008 Mark Martin Army, U.S. Army Chevrolet. So I, what's cool is that I have this in the action version. As you can tell right, right here. The thing is that it's somewhat different with the CFS body because the CFS body is a bit more wider, per se. But still, it's a very solid scheme. Um, it is mi missing a lot of contingencies, though, for um, the CFS car. So that's pretty cool. That's all. That was like a side-by-side -side comparison. I had that out anyways because my COT series, but nobody cares about that. Um, another COT, this is going to be like a replacement one. 2008 Tony Stewart, uh, Home Depot, Toyota, last season with Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, pretty, this is a really cool car, and I'm just like really flattered to see this for $3 especially. Yeah, but um, the one that I've, I have, I've had mine for my original one, I've had for many, many, many years. It is time to get a new one. So I was really happy to pick that up for three three bucks. Same thing with this Dale Jr. one, the National Guard. I have an, I have one as well. It's in decent condition, but it's starting to chip. You can tell by um that front end. You can see like the chips right there. It's just chipping like all over. I should have maybe gotten the amp, but amp, but I didn't really need it. So I'm not too worried because they're 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 way overproduced. So I'm I'm not too worried. What's even more cooler is that we got some loose cars. And I did put these. They're in loose bags. They're in like little single tiny plastic bags because I brought them. And I just wanted to make sure that they didn't get like um, chipped or anything. Because I bought them loose and they were like mint condition pretty much. Pretty much all of them were in mint condition. So I'll just show you them by um, pretty much the ones that were um, by different the man, different uh, different diecast manufacturers. So what we got here is um Reb Wickersham's 03 uh Bailey's um used cars Ford. That is really cool. Um so that's like the action series, uh, another action one. This is probably one of the most famous car owners and drivers of all time car owners and drivers of all time, Junior Johnson. And this is actually kind of a cool one because Hands like um the focus is it says hands hands uh Hansard Pontiac company, but look where it's based out of <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. That is hilarious. So those are like the action ones, but then Racing Champions had their own line as well. And here's an example of one of them. It's uh uh Fred Lorenzen's uh Lafayette uh Ford. Number 28, very famous car from the pretty much the mid-60s. This car was a threat on the racetrack. Fred Lorenzen was like one of the biggest pioneer staples for drivers in the 60s, as well as a short-lived success of Tiny Lund, his number 32 Ford-sponsored car. Fortunately, Tiny Lund died at Talladega. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So those were the cars from the third booth. Let's go on to the, um, this was like in like the same, uh, building that the vendors were in. Cause like the, the second vendor that I showed for the first, those first cars, those, that was in the grandstands. And then the third vendor that I showed previously for the, the loose cars, the loose bags, they were in a arts and like arts and crafts pavilion or whatever, but uh, these actually came also from the Arts and Crafts Pavilion from a different vendor, and these are actually pretty cool. Uh, what's interesting is this one is actually a uh, Daryl Waltz racing truck, and it's um, not PJ Jones, but Mike Chase. And I was very interested to see this, because I was like, I remember there was a, and I do remember like Daryl Waltz, like they had PJ Jones as the driver, but then they replaced him during the 95 season with Mike Chase, and that's really interesting that he got his own diecast produced. Considering it was 1995 and the truck series diecast were very rampant back then, pretty cool. Uh, here's another $2 card that I was really happy to find. This is going to be a replacement for a d another card that I have. It's the Ted Musgrave 1995, the Family Channel Ford Thunderbird. Pretty cool, really cool to see this. Um, sad to see mine. Uh, the one that I've had for a long time, I bought it used at Goodwill. It's very, very, very beaten up, so it's time to get a new one. 
Another $2 card is actually Days of Thunder, the Days of Thunder movie. Rowdy Burns, Exxon, Chevrolet. Really cool to see this for two bucks. So that's what we got from that booth. Um, let's go into the next stuff from... Um, this came from the same like pavilion, but this actually has a really cool story. So what we got here is a three the three pack DEI uh, Richmond cars that were ran. If I unveil that, voila, pretty cool. Let me see the DEI's logos. But what's cool with this is actually it has a little story behind it, and the story goes that the sell the the lady that was selling them said like her uncle owns a Napa shop in Minnesota. And he found them, like, in storage in the shop, like, like, backroom or whatever. Like, it was unsold. There was unsold DEI merchandise that he gave to her to sell dirt for the MSRA. I think it was for her brother's, like, kidney or something like that. It was a really sad story. I, I, told, I wish them luck and everything. But this is really cool, though, because you were able to buy this at the Napa store way back in 2003. And I wish I was alive. I, well, I mean, I was alive. I was, like, one years old, but still... It was, it's cool to see, like, Napa, like, promo stuff, especially, that you could buy at the store way back in the day. Uh, same pavilion, I, I went to another vendor. They had a little small box of, like, random toys and stuff I dug through, and I found a couple cars for a dollar. We have um, Benny Parsons, number 88. Uh, this so looks like a Ford Torino, I believe. Yeah, this is a Ford Torino, 1969 Ford. I, I was correct. But Benny Parsons Ford Torino from 1969. Very cool car. Um, I mean, it's, it was a buck, so I was like, cool. And then we got a Michael Waltrip racing. We have a Michael Waltrip promo for the Wood Brothers. It's the Sitco Ford. This is pretty cool, actually. Very beaten up, though. This is going to get taken out of package. Very likely. Very likely. So we got those from the Arts and Crafts Pavilion. Um, I went to another vendor. They were in a different, they were in a different like um, vendor building, and they had a, a couple cars, mostly uh, Robert Yates cars, but they had a lot of Hot Wheels as well. I didn't buy a lot of Hot Wheels this year. I just really held off because I just didn't really need a lot of Hot Wheels. I only bought like just the Disney Hot Wheels, and I bought like two Hot Wheels. And I was like, oh, these are really cool. I, I got to get these. But anyways, these are the, the cars I got from that from that showcase building. Um, 1999, Dale Jarrett, um, uh, quality, the, the Ford Quality Care, Ford Credit, uh, Taurus, his uh, championship season. This is really, really, really cool. Very, very, very awesome for three bucks. You cannot say, I could not say no to that. Very, very, very good deal. Um... Get, get that stuff out of the way as well. Um, this one's actually really interesting because I previously stated I I bought like an identical Ernie Irvin. Well, apparently this is not an Ernie Irvin. This is actually an actual Davy Allison tribute car on the 1997 uh, Thunderbird body, which I think is really awesome that they did that back back in the in the late 90s to honor Davy Allison. It was like the five year anniversary of Davy Allison's death from the helicopter crash. 93 was just an awful year for NASCAR. They just lost, they lost Alan Kowicki in a plane crash, and then they would lose Davy Allison to a helicopter crash during the mid-1993. Uh, very, very, very sad, but here we go. This might be the best, I saved the best for last. I'm just gonna point this out. We got a crap ton of die cast in this bag, like, what happened was, um, I'm trying to find the car, I'll save that for later, but these are cars that I got that were, um, they were like three bucks a piece, but I ended up, but they had a deal going on where it was like two for five, so I stocked up very quick, and you can see why, because this was a very, very, very good deal. First car we got here, 2015 Austin Dillon Dow Chemicals Chevrolet, I didn't have this, so I picked that up, it's on a stupid PTC mold, I don't really give a crap though, it's cool. Uh, 2016 Regan Smith Dale's Pale Ale. I never got this car back in 2016. I was thinking about it, but eh, too late. Um, but this is pretty cool. It's on the alcohol stand, so that's going to be fun to get it off. Because it might not even come off. 
This was actually a promo car, but this is not Dale Jr. Dale Jr. did not run this at all. Instead, Alex Bowman ran this at Talladega, because remember, Bowman and Gordon both did a, both filled in for Jr. And during the mid, during the 2016 season after Jr. sustained a concu had a concussion. Man, I remember that. Like as if it were yesterday. Here we got Jimai. This is Jim Jimai's um 1998 um Bush Series car that he ran as well. Robert Presley did run this car as well, but Jimmy Johnson also ran the car uh for a couple races as like a precursor before he went to the 92 team. So got those. I mean, I'm just grabbing through the bag of what of what was two for five. Uh, 2017 Ty Dillon Geico Chevrolet. This is really cool. I only have the throwback, so this is actually kind of nice to pick up the actual primary. Uh, here we have 2017 Danica Patrick. Uh, Code 3 Associates for This is really interesting. More Danica Patrick die casts that just get cheaper and cheaper by the dozen. Here we got 2016 Casey Kane. This is the Quicken Loans Chevrolet. Really cool to see that Quicken Loans Went over to Hendrick for a couple of years before just disappearing out of nowhere. Haven't heard from them since. 2017, Kurt Busch, Mobile One, uh, Annual Protection. I have the Danica Patrick uh, version of this car, but it's really cool to have the Kurt Busch version as well. Here we got a 2016 Brad Keselowski uh, Worth Ford Fusion. This is really, really, really cool. I only had the Alliance truck parts one. That was in the Authentics. So pretty cool to see that out in the open. Another 2016. It's the Danica Patrick uh, Aspen Dental. I think this is the car that she ran at Talladega during the 2016 Spring Talladega race and ended up uh, getting involved that one wreck with Matt Kenseth literally um, doing a blowover and uh hitting the catch fence on the on the inside wall instead of the outside wall which was really interesting uh some more like they, they, i just bought so many from him I, I was like 50 bucks worth of cars i just told the vendor i'm like if any like nascar die cast custom makers see this area they'll just buy the entire crate at that point because they'll have so many cars to use as customs oh god excuse me and I just dropped it. Shit. Okay. Brad Kozlowski's REV Fleetwood. Um, yeah, REV Fleetwood RV um, Ford Mustang. This is actually pretty cool. And then I knew it existed and it's out there, but I wasn't really willing to buy it on eBay yet. Here we got 2017 Ryan Newman Caterpillar um, uh, Darlington throwback to looks like the Dale Earn to one of Dale Earnhardt's paint schemes. Uh, I think 85 paint scheme that was a throwback to. And these are actually, we're starting to get in some really interesting die casts. Like, for example, 2017 Matt Kenseth uh, Blue Death Toyota. Yeah, this was ran at um, Auto Club that year. Matt Kenseth did wreck that car, unfortunately. But here we have a more interesting one. A BK Racing car for for, for um 250 And it's the Greg Alding Sweet Frog car, which goes for like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks now. Eh, look how that went. Jesus Christ. Um, more 2017s that I didn't have. Uh, Jimmy McMurray's Gear Wrench uh, Chevrolet. This is really cool. I have the McDonald's, but now I have the Gear Wrench. And then this is actually Clint Boyer's 2017 Haas Automotive uh, Ford Fusion that he, uh, this would get up his primary Haas Ford. Uh, how many cars we got in here? Oh, we got four more cars in here. Thank God. Um, 2016 Joey Logano AAA Insurance. I only had the 2014 version. Didn't buy the other ones because I was like, it's just the same paint scheme. But I'm like, oh, if they're cheap, I'll just buy them. So that was my lucky day to get that car. Find it for that cheap. Um, oh, here's a Chase Elliott actually. Chase Elliott's a 2016 um, Armor Vienna Sausage for Junior Motorsports. This is actually really cool. I don't know what's that on the. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's the armor. Um, it's uh, the feed for vets on the. It's like right on the left rear uh, quarter panel, as well as on the right rear quarter panel, and that's actually kind of cool that they had that right there. Two more cars remain in that bag. These are pretty cool. Uh, I didn't really see these as well as like finding these. Twenty seventeen Elliott Sadler one main financial. 
Uh, this is actually kind of cool. Really cool, actually. So I think this was like one of Sadler's uh, last great years in the Xfinity Series before retiring. Before his retirement. As well as a car I finally now completed. Uh, 20, my 2016 uh, like, um, it's not complete yet. I still need to get customs of certain drivers, but it marks the end of the 2016, uh, numbers that were produced for that year. It's the Ryan Newman, uh, Wix filters. It's not the Caterpillar one, unfortunately, but this actually will do for now. So those were all the cars that were two for five. And I went to one more vendor to buy this because I was like, okay, if I don't buy this, I'm really going to regret it. And I'm not regretting it at all. 2016 Kyle Busch. Snickers Toyota. Uh, this is the chase car he ran uh, during the. I think he ran it at Talladega. I'm pretty sure he ran it at Talladega. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he ran it. At, I can't. I can't remember where Kyle Busch ran that car. But that will actually do it. That is the entire haul of the 2022 MSRA Back to the 50s Car Show. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for brand new videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. I love y'all. Take care.